What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to the Let's Metal. Gonna be doing a what's spinning today, and um, Passy started doing this uh, thing he calls 12 by 12. So 12, 12 inch singles or maxi, whatever you want to call these things. They were called all kinds of things back in the day. But uh, I thought that was kind of a cool idea. I enjoyed watching his videos on it, so I'm gonna do one of those myself. So um, the other day I pulled out 12, 12 inch singles, and I gave them all a spin. Um, so I'm gonna get right into those right now. First one up. This is a not really a single. It was a uh, kind of an EP, but it is a you know four song, and they're calling it they call it a single called Killers Live. Um, unlike the rest of the ones I'm showing in here, though, this one is not uh, based on a song off another album. Uh, it's just a live kind of EP. Um, but likewise, Passy showed a Cinderella live, uh, you know, four song single too. So um, I just thought I think this is a cool thing. This is out of uh, this is Vertigo Phonogram. Um, I believe this is from like 1980 or so. I don't see a date on the back, but I'm pretty sure it was back in about 1980 or so. Um, yeah, so four songs, Bad Rotation, Opium Trail, Are You Ready, Deal This Lonely Heart, all recorded live. Uh, this next one's a Japanese pressing. Um, Posse showed a bunch of um, Gary Moore, and I've got a ton of Gary Moore singles, but I pulled out my favorite one, which is Gary Moore and Philip Lynott with Lindsay. Out in the Fields is the name of the song, um, and the single has uh, three songs on it. So you've got Out in the Field with Philip Lynott, you've got Military Man with Philip Lynott, and you've got Still in Love with You, which is a Thin Lizzy track um, here, which is done in a different style. The Thin Lizzy track is kind of an upbeat rocker. This is more of a bluesy, almost ballady song, um, again with Philip Lynott. So love this single. Um, big fan of Thin Lizzy and Gary Moore, so this thing is just. Awesome. <laughs> uh, next up, this is a uh, this is actually a recent reissue of the um, uh, Voivod single. This wow, man, it's a terrible glare. Let me take this thing out of the plastic real quick. Because not only is it in plastic, but there's a plastic covering in front of the record, so it's really causing it to look too bad. But yeah, this is a picture disc. It is a uh, two scare, two scream, seven inch single or twelve inch single rather. Backed with the non-album track Cockroaches in the back. Um, I can't remember what year this thing. Let's see if there's a year in the back. It was the early 80s, probably like 84, 85, somewhere in that area. And it's a 2018 repressing, but of course they don't put the original year on there. Whatever. <laughs> Mid-80s. Voivod. Um, this was a record, it was a Record Store Day first release or something like that. I don't think it was exclusive to Record Store Day. But... Very cool single, reissue, picture disc, Voivod, cool artwork. This one's kind of cool. I found this one while I dig, dig through this record pile in this record store that I found in the mall. All this overpriced garbage, you know, Madonna records and uh, just, you know, records you see everywhere for five bucks. They had them there for 15, 20 bucks. Um, and I just, I flipped through the whole rack anyhow and I came across this. Who would have thought to find a Warlord single in there? So this is uh, Lost and Lonely, backed with Aliens, a two-song single, Metal Blade Records from, what, 1984? Uh, yep, 1984. And, uh, yeah, it was in there for, like, five bucks. So, man, I snatched it up. Maybe ten bucks, somewhere in that area. It was under ten bucks. And, uh, yeah, great find, man. Warlord, uh, Lost and Lonely Days, and Aliens. Metal Blade single. A lot of the... 12 inch singles seem to come out of the 80s, you know, um, at least a lot of the best ones do. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, very cool. I'd never seen this one before. Glad to have it as part of my collection. Got quite a few from this band, but I only pulled out one. 747 Strangers from Night. Saxon. Recently did a Saxon 7 inch video. Um, I could probably do a Saxon 12 inch one too. Um, but this is just one of the earlier ones, one of the cooler ones. So you've got 747 Strangers from the Night on, on this, the A side. The B side is Stallions of the Highway Live version and see the light shining on the B side. This being a, uh, I think this is a German pressing. Uh, it doesn't say on the back, but I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's either a UK or a German pressing, somewhere in that area. Saxon, new wave of British heavy metal band. Uh, this next one I've had for a long time, and uh, this album taught me a, a huge lesson. <laughs> but this is the Full Throttle EP, or the Full Throttle single, so you've got uh, Two songs on the A side, Power Lover and Nothing Going On in the City. Uh, B side is Crank It Up and Getting Higher. This was kind of uh, to promote their tour with Iron Maiden they were doing at the time. Um, 
Looks like the entire month of March they were on tour with Iron Maiden. But yeah, Gerard's from their first album. Now this album, I bought this online years ago. I'm, I'm making more than a decade ago. Or, and uh, when I purchased it, the seller said that it was in mint condition, still in the shrink. And when I received it, it was still in the shrink. Now if you look closely, you can see how this record looks like crap now because the chemical in the plastic and the shrink reacted with the chemical in the ink and caused that horrible looking discoloration of the of the black ink. Um, so front and back. So no longer do I leave shrink wrap on records because shrink wrap over time can ruin records uh, even if you keep them in the right climate. You know, store them correctly, shrink wrap still can destroy records. Um, if they're on there too tight, and even if they're not on there too tight, shrink wrap can re react with the uh, the ink uh, on the on the records. In the case of this one, it wrecked my cover, um, and I've been looking for another one of these ever since. And I just haven't come across another clean one. So uh, the records in mint condition. The um, the coverage is kind of a bummer, you know. Lesson learned. <laughs> American heavy metal, the rods. Uh, this is off for this is uh, they were on tour for the first album, so. Uh, this, uh, when this thing came out, brand, I brought it brand new, and I'm uh, just a huge fan uh, of the Yngwie Malmsteen, especially uh, I got to see Alcatraz live. Uh, he was opening for Ted Nugent, and um, then I got to see him on his first tour with uh, you know Rising Force, um, and he was fantastic. So this EP came out in between the first and second album, and um, features the song See the Light Shining, I See the Light Tonight, uh, with the B-side being live tracks that had not been released before. Far Beyond the Sun and I'm a Viking. Now, in 1985, when this came out, was it? 85, 86, somewhere in that area? 85? Uh, there was no you know, live Ingvay Malmsteen tracks out there other than the stuff from Alcatraz, and uh, I was just really excited to have it. So this was cool. I haven't heard this in a long time, so I gave it a spin just today, actually. Really enjoyed it. Played both sides, so. Ingvay Malmsteen's Rising Force. I'll see the light shining, 12 inch. This is kind of interesting. Uh, I, this is one of the first ones I thought about when I did this video, because um, it's just, it's odd <laughs> in that you buy the 12 inch single, this is the Mama's Boy, Too Little of You to Love, um, 12 inch single, and here's the, uh, the sleeve, I have that out of the sleeve because it was starting to get ring wear, so I took it out of the sleeve. Once on uh, the Spartan Records, here's the 12 inch single, so you've got, uh, Freedom Fighters and Record uh, Record Machine on the B side, and Too Little of You to Love on the A side. But as you can see on the corner up here, there's a sticker that says "Free Mama's Boy Official Bootleg Limited Edition Album with this 12 inch." So they actually gave you the full first album, the first full official um, was not on a label. It was their you know independent release. It was on a label called Pussy Records back in the day. Um, and that thing is impossible to find. Uh, actually, so is this now. Um, but it's just really cool that they have that first album, which is actually now titled Official Bootleg, um, as a freebie with a 12-inch single. So you got the entire first album from the Mama's Boys, uh, Irish band whose sound was very much in the, in the vein of the new wave of British heavy metal movement, you know, mixing that 70s with the early 80s, uh, hard rock and metal sound. Um, great band, too. Very underrated, um, in my opinion. I, I really like this band a lot. And they did get more commercial as they went on, like a lot of bands did. I mean, Saxon did it, and so did, uh, I don't know all of them did. He, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, all of them kind of put out their commercial albums in the mid-80s, so. Uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four more. Kind of a Metallica Whiplash single, one that I picked up back in the day when it first came out. Um, I was a huge fan of Metallica on that first album, man. That, I just... I couldn't get enough of, you know, whiplash and anesthesia pulling teeth and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, this has a four, has four songs on it, so you got Jump in the Fire, uh, Seek and Destroy and Phantom World, which I believe are live versions, and then it's got a remixed version, they call it the Neck Race remix of Whiplash on here. Okay. Metallica. Yeah, Flossum and Jetsum from their uh, second album, uh, No Place for Disgrace. This was the single for uh, their cover of Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, which is horrible cover song in my opinion. I love Flossing, one of my favorite bands, really, I do, I, but that cover just didn't, didn't fit for whatever reason, but whatever, you know, people liked it, and 
the record company made it a single and we ended up getting a three track live EP on the B side which is great. Hard on you, Misguided Fortune and Dreams of Death on the B side live. So fantastic uh, 12 inch uh, mini LP if you can find this thing, it's more worth picking up. Last two are from the same band. I have a few from this band but I just grabbed two from the same album actually. This is Motorhead, I got mine with Bravo from Thin Lizzy on guitar. So you've got, uh, this is actually promoting their Another Perfect Eight tour, as you can see the tour dates in the back. So you've got, uh, I got mine with uh, Turn You Around Again and Tales of Glory on the B side. And then the Shine EP from the same album, Another Perfect Day. You've got Shine back with uh, Hoochie Coochie Man and Don't Need Your Religion um, live at the Apollo from 1983. Cool cover art, cool EP, single, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> And that's it. Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, playing in the background, DT Seizure, uh, Name Your Poison, um, which is the CD that I put out on my own No Life to Metal Records label, which I'm wearing a shirt today. And uh, that's it. Appreciate y'all watching. God bless. Stay strong.